Welcome, welcome, welcome to the Boxing Bookie. It's 3D Boxing. Um, we're going to get into the F.A. Ajagba versus Zan. I'm going to try to get this right because I've been listening to, watching his fights all day. Kasabuski. Kasabuski. I believe that's right. Um, we're going to tell you how to make money in that fight. Uh, before we do, please like, share, and subscribe. Follow 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog, and all forms social media. Um, please also subscribe to our other channel, Texas Boxing Scene, on YouTube. Uh, that's Texas Boxing Scene. Uh, that's completely dedicated to Texas Boxing. All proceeds go to autism research and recovery. All right. Um, this is the Boxing Bookie. I'll show you how to make money on sports. We can bring down the house together. Uh, I don't gamble. Um, so this is, uh, you know, this is for you. This is advice. Um, boxing bookmakers don't know what they're doing. Uh, and, and I'm going to, I'm going to show you how to bring down the house. Um, you know, we can do this together and, uh, you know, when you do make your first million, just, uh, give me a shout out. Okay. So everyone listening to this, I would imagine is familiar with F.A. Jagba. Uh, going back to 2018 when Curtis Hopper, uh, walked out the ring instead of fighting him. Um, it was kind of an, an, an infamous moment in boxing, um, he was trained by Ronnie Shields. He's from Nigeria. He trains out in Houston. Um, you know, he was he was the boogeyman. He fought Frank Sanchez in 2021. Um, I believe it was on a Canelo card, and he got outclassed, got dropped in the seventh. Um, now he's put a couple of wins together. He's got a win over Stephen Shaw, which is a decent win, I suppose. Um, but he didn't look great in it. It, it, it was lethargic. Um, who is Zan Kasabuski? All right. Um, he's got Joey Duarco on his resume and, uh, do a pie. Those are the names on his resume. Uh, he's got a win over Alexis Garcia, who is a Dominican heavyweight who was 11 0 at the particular time. Um, and that's pretty much it. Um, he's Southpaw. He can only fight coming forward. He can't fight going backwards. Um, he does not throw a lot. He doesn't jab much. Um, he leaves himself open to be hit. He's, he's 6'3", and he usually weighs in the 230 range. 235, 233, 237, you know, in that range. So I, I guess that's kind of small for a heavyweight today or average for a heavyweight. It's, it's um, So 6'3", 235, let's say, is what we can expect to see him at. Uh, he's got to reach a couple of inch shorter than uh, F.A., um, he's got little things he does well. He's, he's a pretty basic fighter. Um, he, he moves his head off center line pretty well, much better than F.A. does, who doesn't move his head at all. He's kind of mechanical, uh, although he's a little bit fluid. He, 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 he's not fast, but he's got this fluidity to him a little bit, right? Um, what you would kind of expect from, you know, a... a, a Less than spectacular heavyweight. He's a body puncher. He's a big time body puncher. He's a southpaw who likes to go to the body. He's stopped Duarco with the body shot. Uh, the African dude whose name I'm going to butcher, uh, Anrade Ararimi, he stopped with multiple body shots. He likes to go to the body. Um, he, he wants to get on the inside. Um, again, with at Jogba, he's going to have to fight on the inside. And, and this is an interesting fight, and it's a compelling fight. And we're going to get the odds in just a minute um, because he's easy to hit, and uh, F.A. can hit. Um, he loads up a lot, uh, Kasabuski does. So he, he's going to get hit. Um, if he can get on the inside, though, he's extremely dangerous on the inside. He's pretty complete. He doesn't, you know uh, – have to load up on the inside, 
right? He throws big shots. He leaves himself open to be counted. He's really easy to hit. So I'm going to get to you. Let's get to the odds now. I'm, I'm going to show you what I'm looking at. Uh, and this is uh, DraftKings. I saw a little bit different odds, about the same on uh, Bet Online. Uh, let's let's pull it up. FA's plus one fifteen. Kasabuski is minus one fifty five. Guys, this is a 50-50 fight. So it, it, it is. FA is flawed. FA is not what we thought he was going to be. And Kasabuski is flawed too. I actually think Kasabuski might be the bigger. One punch puncher. I sent a message to Joey Duarco to ask him about his powers. Rate it one to ten. He hadn't responded to me yet. Uh, but this is a real. This guy's a hitter, right? And, and he likes to go to the body. He's southpaw. Uh, the problem is, FA gets dropped. He gets caught um, with over his lazy jab. FA's got a really lazy jab, and he usually gets nailed with right hand, straight right hands over it. Uh, Kasabuski being a southpaw is going to have to either hook it or he's not going to be in range. I, 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 I think Kasabuski being a southpaw actually benefits F.A. Um, F.A. is still going to jab. He's, he's going he's gonna to jab, um, and his right hand is going to be there. F.A. doesn't load up, right? He really doesn't. So he's not as easy to hit. He's not at a position like Kasabuski is. Guys, I'm, I'm kind of showing my hand here. I do think F.A. is going to win this fight, but it's really close. Um, what I would bet, and I can, there's there's no there's no prop bets on this, which is unfortunate because my big bet would be to take the under in terms of rounds. It goes under twelve. Um, it goes under ten. Uh, someone's gonna get hit. Neither guy's going backwards. Everyone looks at FA and Stephen Shaw. Stephen Shaw, Seven Shaw, bought the fight going backwards. Kasabuski can't do that. FA can't do that. So it's either Kasabuski is gonna get caught coming in and finished. Or he's going to get inside and finish F.A. These odds are kind of making me want to bet Kasabuski because it's paying one and a half to one, right? So I, I want to show that to you. All right, so if you bet 100 bucks, you walk away with 164. If we bet... 100 on FA, it pays 115. Uh, it pays 215, right? You get your 100 back and then the other 115. So your payout is 215. Um, I think that's the bet, right? Because I'm saying this is a 50 50 fight. The, the odds for Kasabuski are too wide. They're telling me Kasabuski's probably going to win this fight. I wish there was. I wish I could take the under in terms of round. I, I wish I could take it not going the distance. I wish I could take a particular guy winning by knockout. Unfortunately, I can't. Uh, we're going to do a show later in the week on Usyk, and I'm going to show you how to do that. But I'm taking FA. Um, I'm going to take an FA to win, and you can see that there's a, there's a little bit of a payout for him. The reason why I'm picking FA to win is it's. He's much more active with the jab. I think he's in line to hit Kasabuski. Kasabuski's in line to get hit with the right hand. F.A. Is, is not fluid. He's robotic, but he's less robotic, and he throws in more combinations. Kasabuski doesn't fire much. He's not busy. He's just looking to get inside, and he can very well win this fight. But I don't think those odds are smart. I think he's too wide of a favorite. Um, I really think he's too wide one and a half to one. Look, FA is not what we he was cracked up to be. He wasn't what he, the hype was with PBC. He's not that good of a fighter. Neither is Kasabuski. Kasabuski is, is, is flawed. He gets hit. He shows his punches. He leaves himself open. And I think eventually FA is going to crack him. I think that comes seven or eight. I can't bet on a round. Um, FA is composed. He doesn't come out of his shell. He fires his jab, and I, I do think over time he's going to set something up. So officially, I'm taking FA. Um, you know, you're getting a little bit of odds there. Um, I, I think it's a smart bet. I think you got. I, I think the betting Kasabuski is too dangerous. Again, we're not going to make money on every fight. I think we make money on this one, and we can parlay it with other fights later in the day. Um, but just betting on this fight, I, I, I think because of the style, because he's busy. Uh, because he's busier, because he's got a better jab, because he's quicker and throws more in combination. 
I think Kazabuski walks into something. Again, guys, this is a 50-50 fight. And when you when it's a 50-50 fight, and they fought 10 times, you know, toss it up in the air. Both guys probably wins five. And when you have that, and one guy's a one and a half to one favorite, you got to take the other guy. It's simple odds, right? This is a really, really tough fight to bet. And I wish there were more props. I wish we could just play with the under, play with the round. DraftKings isn't offering that on this particular fight. But let me know what you guys think. Uh, I'm saying take uh, F.A. on the money line. Uh, leave your thoughts, comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe. Follow 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog on all forms of social media. Also subscribe to our other channel, Texas Boxing Scene on YouTube. Let's uh, bring down the house with the Boxing Bucky. It is August 22nd, 2023. Thank you, and God bless. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.